Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on Sukiyana of Love and Hip Hop and the misrepresentation of melanin. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And of course, I have to start with my ignorance disclaimer. If you think I'm a hater, you can get the fuck out of here. If you think BTN do this for views and likes and all of that bullshit, you can get the fuck out of here. If you think I'm mad because of Sukiyana's bank account, count god damn it you can get the fuck out of here that's not how btn operate around this motherfucker now that the kids are gone you should understand that you witnessing a rebel network around this motherfucker and for those of you who don't know sukiana she a character on love and hip-hop the sukiana character is a foul mouth scantily clad female rap artist of the trina variety sukiana is the latest of many to misrepresent melanin just like bet do all fucking day melanin this and melanin that yet they don't show no type of shows on breaking down what the fuck melanin is stop misrepresenting our goddamn culture around this motherfucker to prop up these goddamn strippers and sex singers and rappers goddamn it but i digress y'all let's continue on the show Love and Hip Hop, the character Sukiyana starts a conversation on experiencing colorism. Is colorism a problem, y'all? Yes, but not as big as Love and Hip Hop would have you believe, goddammit. It. It's more of a disagreement amongst blacks. Like, it's a stigma and shit like that, goddammit. It. it ain't like black people gonna be like, I ain't hiring you, you a light skinned nigga. I ain't hiring you, you a dark skinned nigga. Yo, you a dark skinned woman. I don't want you at the front desk or no bullshit like that. Think about it When it's a light skinned dude It'll be like Nigga you soft If it's a dark skinned dude It'll be like You Wesley Snipes black Boy you criminal black Shit like that God damn it Or if it's a light skinned girl be like Oh she thinks she all that She think her shit don't stink You know what the fuck I'm talking about Or if it's a dark skinned girl Oh she always got the diva attitude And shit like that It is not us going around Hanging light skinned dudes You think You see a mob of black Dark skinned dudes being like where them light skinned niggas at We gonna get them niggas It's more of a stigma and shit You know Or even a joke at times Niggas will be like Light skinned brothers Will make a comeback And bullshit like that It ain't nothing towards hatred So get the fuck out of here y'all And they never talk about The origin of the shit On these dumb ass shows They don't talk about The brown paper bag test And all of that bullshit The people who started colorism God damn it So love and hip hop And Viacom Matter of fact Mona Scott in conjunction with Viacom production janky promoters laid up there and fucked up the black image that's all they try to do they love trying to promote a fucked up black image Mona Scott and fucking Viacom anyway y'all you are witnessing a rebel network let's block talk break her bullshit down well let me read all the bullshit that she said y'all while blowing up a fucking balloon Look what she said Pretend it's your baby daddy To the girl right there that you see on the picture talking to They was blowing up balloons and shit To get ready for the La Party She said pretend it's your baby daddy <clears throat> That's, that shit foul Like y'all understand But we gonna go in deep As a motherfucker On this character Because you probably thinking Oh she look nice Yeah man Maybe she was trying to do something She was trying to do this Nah She wasn't doing shit But using our ancestors And melanin To sell bullshit colorism And a bullshit hood rat image Around this motherfucker Let me tell y'all Let me continue After she said Pretend it's your baby daddy And all of that shit She said she having a brunch for strong, independent women. Dark-skinned women are being passed over in favor of light-skinned women or women of lighter colors because she don't want to say white women or Latinos directly, I guess. She said, but at the end of the day, she looked like her ancestors and shit, goddammit. Now, let's block talk break this shit down, goddammit. She said she was having a brunch for strong, independent women, y'all. You know who was at the table? Women who sing sex over sexualized twerking while singing. 
women who rap while twerking and all of that bullshit, god damn it, Tw- twerking and singing and all of that bullshit, or, or women who fucking manage other women who twerk and sing, or ex-strippers, that's who was at the motherfucking brunch, so get the fuck out of here, strong, independent women, well, I guess she is independent, god damn it, you doing it on your own, promoting the fucked up image of black women, yeah, on your own, you doing that, god damn it, then what she said, so many dark-skinned women, Women are being passed over in favor of light-skinned women. And you know what? That is the truth. And I'm glad that that's happening because we don't need no more fucking dark-skinned women promoting that hood rat-ass images. If they won't give it to Cardi B or whatever light-skinned person, Latino or white person, let them give that stupid-ass image to them. It's time that we purge that fucking image anyway, goddammit. You shouldn't even be promoting that. How about you rap about some shit that makes sense like Queen Latifah did before she turned into a goddamn coon and wearing blind wig and shit how about you do that promote that image ain't too many of y'all doing that bullshit so yeah you right it is colorism they is passing you up god damn it but guess what who is the people that's picking the people to pass you up you ain't focusing on them huh the real fucking culprits the elite and why you trying to be picked by somebody god damn it why are you trying to be picked by somebody? How about you build your fucking brand? You pass your music out. Make sure you, you can build your own goddamn production company, your own record label. Why you need to be picked by a motherfucker? See? Small fucking thinking. That's why they own this fucking show where they probably pay them 1200 a check and shit, yet they using them for big time ratings around this motherfucker. You are witnessing a rebel network, but let's continue. Then she goes on to say she looked like her ancestors, y'all. She looked like her ancestors, and she proud of that at the end of the day. Y'all, that's a flat-out motherfucking violation. That's how we need to start treating this shit, goddammit, because you're now about to use a nigga ancestors and melanin to sell fucking colorism and ratchetness for your own financial gain, goddammit, because that's all she doing. Oh, let me sell that colorism shit for Viacom because they say they want to divide men and women, you know, black men and women. They ain't nothing, goddammit, and I'm going to sell this ratchet scratching this because I'm trying to get paid. And y'all accept this black women? Get the fuck out of here. Y'all need to be all up on her Twitter, Instagram, and all of that bullshit like them little beehive people do for Beyonce. How about y'all read these people promoting these fucked up images god damn it go flood they shit like you do for beyonce go flood viacom mona scott and all of them fucking idiots and then what she did y'all she proved my point that she's a fucking character in case some of y'all you know some idiots still be on the fence about man the show real ain't a character and all of that bullshit you know what the fuck she went on to say god damn it because y'all these people be characters like before she got the love in hip-hop she was a character and i'm a prove that in a minute she was a character on social network some of social media my bad some of them going jerry springer and all type of shows before they get big god damn it they promoting they self in a fucked up image around this bitch hoping to get signed by the elite god damn it or used by them in any type of way but i digress now when the music the music changed at this time y'all uh, you witnessing a rebel network, the piano and shit went off and shit. It went down, 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 down. you know, some old, some old, uh, soft ass shit to where it was sad. Down. And all of that Then she said I just want to show people Who I really am Not just Sukiyana the character But destiny Destiny huh? That's who. That's the real you So this Sukiyana shit Ain't nothing but a fake you On this TV That's not reality That's not a reality show Then god damn it Cause if it was reality All we would see is destiny All we would know is destiny But all we know Is hood rat Sukiyana Who trying to promote Fucking ratchetness To our young fucking girls And boys around this motherfucker You understand me When I said she was cut From the Trina cloth I'm not saying that shit for no reason. I want y'all to understand that they watch these artists and they see how they could top what the fuck that artist did. If Lil' Kim spread her legs on the album cover, in the future, one of them gonna be naked spreading their fucking legs on the album cover. But y'all heard, huh? Talking about, I'm a black girl and I'm trying to make it out. 
you a black girl and you trying to make it out at our motherfucking expense around this bitch you did y'all understand at our expense because think about it she said trina influenced her didn't she she said trina influenced her around this bitch that's why i was telling y'all that bullshit around this motherfucker i wanted y'all to understand that so guess what because she trying to make it out y'all and because she said the word melanin and because she said the word ancestors we supposed to support the next generation of sukiana in Influence rappers y'all know how fucking terrible this woman is sukiana influence rapper so if trina influenced this type of ratchetness and i'm about to show y'all how ratchet she get with this female if trina influenced her think about the generation she fucking influencing y'all Think about the generation she influenced but y'all heard me right she says she want people to know the real her destiny so the real her is not on this motherfucking television show i just want that to sink in that she's selling a fucked up image of black women today goddamn that's what i want y'all to understand but we supposed to overlook all of that shit because uh you know she just trying to make it doo -doo -doo, piano doo -doo -doo. She trying to make it up out the ghetto. Get the fuck up out of here, goddamn, with all that bullshit, goddamn. But we supposed to overlook the songs. Y'all, matter of fact, go to this girl's songs. You witnessing the Rebel Network. Go to her lyrics. Let's read, y'all. The name of the fucking song is All In Your Throat. Let's read this. I never, I didn't listen to the beat and the lyric part of no shit like that, you dig? But we gonna read it. Or right, as far as we could. Bitch, put the D all in your throat. All in your throat. Bitch, put that D all in your throat. Fuck him on the yacht. Fuck him on a boat. I ain't gotta fuck for no winter coat. What kind of bullshit? What kind of Dr. Seuss shit is this? Do y'all hear what the fuck I said? F him on a yacht. F him on a boat. I ain't got to F him for no winter coat. Oh, so you doing it on the pl for pleasure or something on the boat? On a yacht and on the boat? Oh, this is for your pleasure. I thought she was... I don't get this boat. Y'all hear what the fuck she talking about? Fuck him on a yacht. Fuck him on a boat. I don't have to fuck him for no winter coat. Now let's read some of the motherfucking verse where shit gets even more terrible because we supposed to uh, support her because she said melanin and ancestors and shit so we can support the next generation of Sukiana influenced rappers, y'all. Like she was influenced by Trina. Look at her album cover fucking gross that, and i'm a man god damn, and that's gross that i'm looking at but let me let me continue before a nigga fuck i need a big deposit bring that d in my cat i want it wilding out and eat my pee like a filet mignon motherfucking cat nigga i don't give a fuck about your baby mama fuck that pussy asshole look <laughs> Oh my God, yeah, I'm that, I'm the bitch they be hating on. Yeah, your man be buying me that St. Laurent or some bullshit label that don't give a fuck about her. Yeah, I told y'all, trick, trick, yeah, we sucking D. We gon' bust all in my, he gon' bust all in my breast. We go, we, we ain't got no morals. Y'all, y'all see this shit? It say, we ain't got no morals. We some fucking hoes. Put a nigga D all in between my toes. Do y'all hear that bullshit? But we supposed to support that? She melanin, y'all? You support that black woman? She, me, she get to say melanin in ancestor and shit. A black woman should walk up to and smack her directly in her face because of that shit but we at btn don't condone violence this is this is just satire y'all you understand that god damn it you see what the fuck she just said we ain't got no morals that's what you want your fucking kid to be influenced by this idiot making a fucking song called all in your throat get the fuck out of here y'all but that ain't where it stopped that ain't where the shit stopped think about this she made an appearance on fucking Jerry Springer, y'all. We supposed to ignore this, huh? Because she said melanin and ancestors and she just trying to make it. 
Poor Suki, Anna, you know, she just trying to sell a hood rat image to our boys and girls so she could get out of the project, goddamn it, she... We we should feel bad for her. But look at this appearance on Jerry Springer where she's sleeping with this woman fucking husband, goddamn it. First of all, of course, it's Jerry Springer, so the dude he ain't shit. But she's sleeping with somebody husband and she know that that's the person husband. You understand me? But she a hood, right? So it's all right. And you know what the fuck that woman said? She said, I'm trying to build a house of class and you cheating on me with this fucking trash, goddamn it. And she said, said this is what you want and the dude said no because at the end of the day nobody wants a fucking woman like Sukiana. y'all are just used for toys god damn it why you think the men who trick on you as you put it pay you that's because they pay you to leave they pay you to get the fuck from around me Sukiana. yeah they had a little fun with you the little sexual experience then they pay you to leave because nobody can sit there and marry somebody like you don't nobody want to be a around a person like you for 24 hours because you're a stupid stinking hood rat motherfucker you understand that and yeah i said it because that's who this person is don't be sitting up there promoting that fucking image to these kids and acting like we supposed to feel sorry for you because you just try to make it stupid as there's better ways to make it than to be sitting up there making rap songs where your fake ass say you ain't got no morals oh well fuck you then you ain't got no morals so i can say what the fuck i want about you look at that picture fucking gross get a close-up on that bullshit get a close-up on that but look how cl fucking that's gross to me i don't know nobody like i come on down bruh fucking terrible but we supposed to support you and women y'all rock with this y'all rock with this fake ass shit god damn it and what happened y'all remember the party i was telling y'all about the little melanin party that she happened that she had god damn it what always happened on motherfucking uh love and hip-hop what always happened god damn it Oh, look like I ain't put the property on it. I'm going to change it. God damn it. We got time with that bullshit. They trying to play something. God damn it. I know how I had changed that bitch. But anyway, they got into a motherfucking fight at the shit. Just like Jerry Spring. Just like it always happens at Jerry Sp on Jerry Spring around this motherfucker. Let me see where that bullshit at. Here you go, the picture. Let me see if it upload right quick. Press OK. Look at it all big and shit, but whatever. You about to see it to let y'all know, yeah, that's her motherfucking ass. Bam, make that bitch a little smaller. Try to drag the motherfucker, my bad, y'all. Because I know I had repositioned this shit. I don't know why all of a sudden it's gone, but it's motherfucking gravy. Put that shit back to the side. Look, that's her right there at the top. Look at her. Look at her. Terrible, bro. Fucking all in your throat. And we supposed to support this. Man, fuck that picture though right there. But we supposed to support this bullshit. Look at her, bruh. A fucking shame around here, bruh. But anyway, at that goddamn party, they had a fight. Amara La Negra and some other chick, you know. But anyway, they had a fight at the Melanin party. Disgraced Melanin and the ancestors and shit at the party. Every fucking gathering they have on that dumbass show ends in a brawl. Cause they ain't nothing but a group of fucking men and women who promoting complete bullshit with times in between where they be like, we helping the black people give away a few toys, have that episode. Every season is the same fucking episodes anyway. The vacation episode, the help the people out episode, god damn it. The fight at random locations episode. Get the fuck out of here. Some people actually be thinking that this is reality, but mainly what we focused on, god damn it, if we talking about it, here at BTN, it's about stinking motherfuckers like Sukiana promoting the foul ass image of black people and men as well, black men and women, Kodak Black and all of them idiots who are paid to promote a fucked up image of us, goddamn it. Because best believe one thing, this ain't about dividing black men and women. All of my shit, all of my motherfucking videos will let you know we point out the division attempts by people like Viacom and Mona Scott. Scott, motherfucker. Once again, y'all holler at me.